Welcome to an introductory webinar created by NetScout. This presentation is designed to provide you with an overview of the drivers, challenges, and some key components of a test lab automation solution. In addition to automation, we'll discuss a new approach to improving test lab efficiency, speed, and performance. This approach, known as test optimization, is often introduced as a part of a lab automation effort and also serves as a key component to automation. Test lab improvement projects, such as the introduction or expansion of automation, are driven by the need to reduce long-term capital and operational expenditures. Let's take a look at a typical test lab infrastructure and see where potential improvements lie. A typical test lab is made up of test tools, supporting infrastructure like patch panels and cabling, and the systems under test. In this diagram, Site 1 has some 10 gigabit test tools that are not being used. They aren't even cabled into the infrastructure. Site 2 needs more 10 gigabit test tools, and this is preventing a test cycle from starting. On the CapEx side, we can see that each lab needs additional test tools. This is a common refrain from labs of all types caused in part by the need to test at different interface speeds as new products come to market and existing solutions need regression testing. As expensive test tools are added, it is important to automate usage of these tools and utilize them efficiently in order to maximize the investment. Finally, on the CAPEX side, increasing the useful lifespan of test tools can postpone and in some cases eliminate the need for new tools. On the OPEX side, sharing tools through an automation system can improve the efficiency of lab operations and test engineers by decreasing the amount of time spent waiting for tools to become available. Next, time-consuming topology changes can be automated. Since all configuration changes are done remotely via software, downtime caused by failed cables and dirty connectors is nearly eliminated. And finally, the task of configuring taps or mirror ports for test stream analysis can be simplified using centralized resources and functions. The objectives of a test lab automation project include improvements to efficiency, productivity, and scale. Automating a test lab provides the opportunity to test devices, applications, and services faster and to establish 24 by 7 operations across the globe. Test automation reduces the cycle time of repetitive procedures such as regression tests and performance tests. You can improve the efficiency of the test lab by enabling the sharing of expensive test tools, which leads to increased utilization of the entire lab. Additionally, by automating repeated processes, you can not only save time, but also reduce the potential for error. Testing products and services faster by enabling true 24 by 7 lab operations will improve overall lab productivity. This reduces time to market and allows the product or service to contribute to the bottom line more quickly than manual testing would accommodate. Finally, automation allows test labs to scale more effectively by coordinating budgets and staff for targeted, measurable improvements. By implementing automated topology changes across the entire lab, you can greatly expand testing capacity and reduce downtime. While the objectives of test lab automation are clear, certain challenges need to be dealt with in order to achieve success. The wide range of networks, speeds, and media types in most test labs adds complexity when trying to connect test tools and test beds efficiently. Also, Planners need to be careful that issues and inefficiencies aren't simply masked rather than fixed through automation efforts. Lab automation projects often have high expectations around return on investment. In order to meet these goals, the test lab should be automated and optimized. Now, let's take a look at the keys to success when implementing a test lab automation project. First, we need to increase utilization by making people more effective and using infrastructure more efficiently. Next, reduce the time required to complete a test cycle by streamlining lab operations through automation to reach a new level of responsiveness. The last and most important key to success is to save money. 
This can be accomplished by reducing the amount of spend on test tools and infrastructure, while also reducing costs through a reduction in manual, repetitive processes. Now that we've seen the drivers and key objectives for test lab automation, let's look at one approach for implementation. This diagram shows a scenario where a test lab was partially automated but not optimized. We can see that complex infrastructure was kept in place and manual patch panels are still used for topology changes while additional test tools are still required. Automating this level of complexity will likely result in serious project delays and many of the cost drivers still won't be addressed. In short, the return on investment target is not achievable in this scenario. Of course, this approach is not recommended. This diagram shows a NetScout approach to test lab automation. Using this approach, the lab is not only automated, but it's also optimized in the process. As a result, lab resources can be shared efficiently, topology changes can be made remotely using automation software, and core lab functions are centralized in order to help realize the full return on investment potential of test lab automation. NetScout's test optimization solutions help improve the efficiency, speed, and performance of network and application test labs. This is done by combining Layer 1 switching with Layer 2 through 4 intelligence in scalable configurations, all controlled by easy-to-use application software or third-party tools. Combining Layer 1 switching with Layer 2 through 4 intelligence enables lab managers and test engineers to access functions that would otherwise require additional equipment. Supplying higher-level functions in a Layer 1 switch simplifies the test configuration and reduces variability in test execution. These functions can be applied to any test stream and without the need to physically access the lab. Let's take a closer look at some of the functions. First, we have Layer 1 switching. Layer 1 switching enables lab managers to quickly build test topologies from pooled resources. This greatly improves the availability of test tools and increases the speed of topology changes. Since all configuration changes are done remotely via automation software, downtime caused by failed cables and dirty connectors is nearly eliminated. Automating Layer 1 switching is a critical component of any lab automation effort where test tools are shared or network topologies are changed across test cycles. Next, let's look at how aggregation and rate conversion can help optimize an automated lab. Using aggregation and rate conversion, lab managers can greatly increase utilization of test tools by using lower speed tools for higher speed tests. In this example, there aren't enough 40 gigabit test tool ports to meet the current demand. Rather than wait for these ports to become available, the lab manager can make use of unused 10 gigabit tool ports instead in order to meet the current demand for those 40 gigabit tests. In addition to increasing utilization and decreasing wait times, aggregation and rate conversion can greatly extend the useful lifespan of expensive test tools and therefore postpone or eliminate the need for additional expenditures. Our next example looks at a very common occurrence in testing, the need to analyze test streams using a tap. Test engineers often need to analyze live test streams in order to diagnose problems. This can be accomplished using a physical tap or by establishing a mirror port on a switch. These solutions are less than ideal in some scenarios where physical access is not an option, or mirror ports might not be available or might have adverse effects. NetScout solution allows users to apply a tap to any test stream without requiring physical access to the lab and without impacting the test. Taps can be configured automatically along with the rest of the test bed, or users can add taps as needed. Additionally, the user can apply Layer 2 through 4 filters on the tap traffic in order to reduce the load on the analysis tools. Having tap and filter capability built into the infrastructure increases the speed of the analysis and debug cycle, therefore improving the efficiency of the test engineers. 
This webinar has outlined the drivers, challenges, and keys to success for implementing test lab automation. NetScout's test optimization solutions offer layer one switching with layer two through four intelligence. Our solutions play a vital role in ensuring that cost drivers are addressed and efficiency is improved through increased utilization of test tools, a reduction in the amount of time required to configure and tear down test topologies, and money saved on test tools and infrastructure. Thank you for listening to this webinar. For more information, please contact your local NetScout account manager or visit www.netscout.com.